Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and thanks for joining me for the second of a couple of videos of my amateur radio antics on my recent holiday to Brixham in Devon. In this video we'll be catching up with Mike again, M0 X-Ray Mike X-Ray from Ham Radio Vlog, as well as another couple of stations from the Clifftop Marine VHF site and Lighthouse on Berry Head. There's plenty of communications history up here such as the Royal Observer Corps bunker and we'll also be visiting again at night to capture the VHF mast against an amazing night sky. So let's get started and see how Mike from Ham Radio Vlog is getting on. So yeah, I uh, I hope you're okay, I hope you're having a good day, it's lovely and hot isn't it? Spent the morning on the beach and just come up to Berry Head now just to have a, another nosy at the, uh, the VHF, back to you. Yeah, it's been great, honestly. Um, took Ted for a walk all the way along the sand this morning. Literally walked all the way back to um, the beach that the caravan park's on. And uh, and then we came back, had some lunch on the beach, and um, then played a bit of HF, 40 and 20. And there were some great stations, some VKs, and a couple of stations, uh, one station in particular that was a Mexico station. But... Uh, and then obviously uh, doing this on, on VHF and there was quite a few stations actually out there when I started calling you earlier and I did actually say that uh, you'd be on and, uh, um, and I suggested that they may want to follow us down and, and come into the QSO. There was one particularly strong station in Brixham as well. So um, I'll pass it back to you. Maybe you want to call um, for any other stations there, Lewis. M3HHY portable, M0XMX portable, over. M0 XMX portable M3 HHY mobile. No worries, uh, Mike. That's that's brilliant. So I take it you're on the you're on the 857 now. Then, when I was calling for you a second ago, I did put a couple of CQ calls out, but there was nothing uh, nothing knocking around. But I am just on a, a radio to see handheld. And I thought I'd bring a different radio out just to uh, just to try today. It seems to be working well. You're a good signal to Berry Head, Mike. Back to you. M3 HHY mobile. Yeah, right to that, Lewis. Well, I spoke to Ken earlier. His call sign is Golf Zero Victor Queen Yankee. Uh, I also spoke to Pete, Golf 7 KTE, and also um, Dave, G4IUG. So it seems to be a bit of a busy band down here, and uh, S23 seems to be their net channel, and, uh, and they have a net every morning, I think, at 10 a.m. on S23. And, um, and they said, you know, if you're around, feel free to pop by and say hello. I'll leave you a pause, actually, uh, Lewis, just in case any of those guys are uh, out there and they want to join us. So uh, back to you, Lewis, with a pause, M3HHY, M0X and X portable, over. Yeah, M three H H Y mobile with a pause. Nope, nothing heard. Uh, nothing heard. I'm sure they'll. Uh, I'm sure they'll find us if there's anybody else about. I was uh, this morning when we when we tried to make contact. I was on the uh, battery gardens at Brixham, so I uh, took some drone footage and some other bits and pieces. It's an old gunnery uh, from the Second World War. And there's a bit of a Second World War museum up there, which is quite good. So I'm going to get some video of that later. Um, so that's where I was this morning. But yeah, it's a really good spot here on, on Berry Head. Um, it's quite misty though, Mike. The, the cruise ships are a little bit hard to see. Um, it's there's a, there's a haze. I'm sure you're seeing it as well. There's a haze knocking around um, with the the heat. I think this afternoon. Um, but yeah, I wonder if you're on frequency pen uh, G0VQY. I think it was. Uh, if not, back to you, Mike M3HHY, mobile berry head. This is Mike Zero X-ray Mike X-ray portable and M3HHY portable. Any stations, please QRZ. Mm, nothing here. This side, uh, Mike seems to be a little bit quiet now. Yeah, I'm surprised. I thought uh, I thought there would be people there. Oh well, not to worry. Um, I know that Penn said that he monitors S23. So, um, but he, he said he only monitors it. I think when he's, uh, I don't know, in the office or something. And I think he said he just popped in. So maybe he'll be putting, popping in and out shortly. And maybe there might be some of the other. Uh, I think they're Dartmouth regulars, Dartmouth Net. So maybe some of those will pop by and say hello. And, uh, and hopefully they don't mind us using their uh, their frequency. But anyway, yeah. Um, so what's the radio you're using there, uh, Lewis? Back to you. Yeah. Mike, I'm on the radio to see GA510, so it's a 10 watt uh, radio, so it puts out around 9.8, I think it was on UHF, and around 9.5, or just over 9 on VHF, um, so it's quite a good little radio actually, quite a solid one, looks like a DMR radio really, and it's, uh, it doesn't overheat either, um, considering it's putting out um, a few a few more watts than, than they usually do, back to you. Yeah, right to that. Okay, I left a little bit of a pause there just in case anybody wants to join us. Um, yeah, I've got the uh, the 857, which is 50 watts, 
And now I've got that um, into the homemade Slim Jim antenna, which um, is, uh, is literally just a piece of ladder line with a bit of coax attached to it, plugged into the back of the radio. And, and this is kind of my, um, my favourite tool, in actual fact, for portable two metres use, because it's so easy and transportable. But also, in terms of takeoff angle, it's really, really low. So if you're on top of a hill somewhere, which I very, rare, very regularly am, um, you know, it, it pays to have an, a, 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 an aerial that's going to put the signal straight out rather than up. So, um, so yeah, but uh, as I say, yeah, you've got a super strong signal. Uh, probably, I would say, five and eight, um, five and nine. I, I tend not to look at the meter on this um, this 857 because it's a bit lazy, to be honest with you. But it sounds to me like it should be a 5859 there, Lewis. Back to you. Yep, M3HHY. Mobile return on Berry Head. That sounds good, Mike. Yeah, I've, I have used one before on the um, on two meters FM actually when there was lift conditions on. So yeah, nice, nice little radio. Um, there's no signal meter on this radio at all. But again, from from listening by, you, I'd say you're about a five by eight. Um, but absolutely, uh, absolutely cracking, uh, cracking audio considering. Um, yeah, it's getting really hot up on here, uh, Mike. Now really, uh, really warm. I've got the big camera with me, the Nikon P1000, to get some. Uh, some arty farty shots to throw in the video so you'll see all that it's quite airy up here now even though it's a lovely bright sunny day you actually can't see where the the sun meets the uh, the, the sky meets the sea at the moment because of this haze so it looks quite uh, looks quite good um, but i'll say 73 and we'll catch you uh, a little bit later on i'll let you get back to playing some hf or doing whatever you're uh, whatever you're going to do but cheers for the chat again mike really enjoyed it it's been good fun catching up and i'm sure there'll be plenty of others before the holiday's over so I'll say 7-3, we'll catch you further down the log from M3HHY Mobile on Berryhead. Yeah, thanks Lewis, great talking to you again. Probably meet you tomorrow morning on VHF or even UHF. All right, you carry on, have a great evening and uh, don't get lost in the fog. Bye for now, M0XMX, portable, now closing down. Yep, cheers Mike, have a good afternoon, 7-3, M3HHY, unless called, going QRT. So I was planning to go QRT and enjoy the rest of the sun on Berry Head, but another station called in from Dartmouth. But before we go back to him, let me show you what I managed to capture that same evening from the same place. I was really happy with how these shots turned out, considering the only light up there was the starlight and the occasional beam of light from the lighthouse. It really was quite eerie and there was only us up there and not another soul around. Also up Berry Head is the old ROC bunker which I've covered similar ones in other videos. This is a 1960s closure so it didn't see out the end of the Cold War like many others did that closed in 1991. There's also an old aircraft observation tower up there but sadly no trace of any of the radio or landline communication systems left.
So let's get back to the radio and Dave G4IUG in Dartmouth. 3HHY G4IUG Golf 4 India Uniform Golf. Yeah, Golf 4 India Uniform Golf Mike 3 Hotel Hotel Yankee Mobile. Yep, hi Lewis, I'm just, uh, just sort of working in the office and got the radio on the side and uh, I think you're not sure what you're doing down here, but uh, have a great time and welcome. Uh, name is Dave and location uh, Dartmouth, um, which you could almost see from where you are. Uh, if you can see the day mark, I'm on the next hill across uh, from G4 IUG. Yep, G4 IUG, M3 HHY mobile returning. No worries. Yeah, I know, ex uh, know exactly where Dartmouth is. I uh, was there, I think, was it yesterday? I don't know, all the days blur into one, and then I think we're back on Friday uh, doing the steam train, so that should be quite good. But yeah, good to speak to you for the first time. Um, just on holiday, staying at the Fishcombe Holiday uh, Chalets, just near Fishcombe Cove in Brixham, and then just on Berryhead at the moment. I was just talking to a friend of mine, Mike, I think he said he'd spoke to you before, M0 XMX over in, uh, I think it's in Exmouth. So yeah, it's a lovely day up here, really, it's getting muggy now, and uh, as I say, that's, uh, that, that mist is rolling in off the sea, slowly getting closer and closer, but for now it's a really nice day uh, up on Berryhead. So yeah, great to catch you for the first time. Uh, just, uh, get, I think I may have missed your name, uh, G4IUG M3HHY, Berryhead. Okay, Lewis, uh, there might be an echo in the background, there's another rig on, uh, sorry about that. Name is Dave, uh, Dave. Um, yeah. I'm not sure what the weather's doing at the moment, but there is um, strange QSB on you, which uh, it could be missed. Uh, here, I, if you're in Dartmouth and you uh, look up the, um, uh, the, the the big street that goes uphill, sort of uh, next to the Castle Hotel, um, and Oh, I can't remember the shops, the, um, the wine shop, etc. You look, you look up that street, right to the horizon, and there's some houses that appear to be right on top of the horizon, and uh, that's that's me. Um, although the land does actually slope further up behind me, but not much. But we often get, uh, this sort of weather, we get um, strange mist or very low-lying cloud. I'm not quite sure what it is, and I could think that's coming up at the moment, which is why there's money QSB. Um, okay, um, well, good luck on the train. Um, I expect you know there is an observation carriage which used to be a pound extra and is well worth it. So um, uh, it's really good, and especially this um, time of the year. So I hope you enjoyed that one. It was nice to get out in the sunshine and work some two metres from such a fantastic location. And of course, the ROC post and the Marine Station made it all that little bit better. I hope you enjoyed the night shots as well. Let me know what you think of those in the box below. Uh, and all that's left to say is 7-3, we'll leave that one there. If you have any other comments, suggestions or questions, drop them in the box below and I'll get back to you. And all that's left to say is 7-3. Thanks for watching, we'll catch you in the next one.